Hello everybody. Yet another two day session. This time assembling the bulkheads. I've just primed all the parts of the bulkheads. And now I start assembling them. Starting with the 706, which is the first bulkhead after the seat. Which is the, the let's say, the starting part for the tail cone. There are not much rivets to set for the bulkheads. So it's actually quite easy. Also the now vertical channel that you see is not going to be rifted at all because I guess we need to later disassemble it again. Not sure. But plans say don't rivet it so I won't. In the second session I work together with my dad and we are working on the tail wheel construction. Uh, which took uh, a few hours, which is maybe a little much, but uh, it actually was a lot of... Uh, it, it didn't fit that well, let's put it that way. I mean, the, the 7.11 and 7.12 bulkhead, the smaller ones that you will see later, they didn't really fit well in the skin and we had to do a lot of bending and... Um, yeah, it was hard, let's put it that way. And I didn't want to screw it up, so it was... And we also had to, make a, had to trim some stuff out for the tail wheel part. So this is actually um, a lot harder if you build a tail wheel. This is the second one. The 707, I guess it is. Uh, only a few rivets, I think six or something like that. And it's only two parts, no hard things, so really easy. Ready. Next. 708. Even less to do. They're getting smaller and they're simple. Again, I use the squeeze wherever I can, which is everything here with these bulkheads. Nice. Done. 709 is nothing to do, so that was easy. 710 is a little harder. Mm, but it's only also one stiffener that you have to build. So quite easy. Also again you can do everything with a squeezer. So that was all the easy parts, that's why I did it by myself. Some extra deburring, apparently. Done. Now harder part, the 711 is this, I guess. Yeah. It's a two-part and there are some stiffeners that hold the vertical and horizontal stabilizer, so the empennage kit. It's not that hard, it's just some rivets and not really hard to do. Again, I think we could, I could do everything with the squeezer. Uh, only the top two rivets I couldn't do, but actually you shouldn't do it right now because uh, you have to do that once you are going to install the empennage. So mostly, I guess, the horizontal stabilizers. And this is actually the 712 I'm working on right now, so that's the last uh, one. So I'm probably almost done. Not that simple, I think only 10. Yeah, so that was the second day, and then we start actually um, assembling it. As you can see, the seven. this is the 712 and the 711, the most rear two bulkheads. And uh, we are trying to attach them to the, um, to the skin. And what I said, it was really hard because it didn't really fit that well. And um, then you also have to trim stuff and get the tail wheel in there. So it was a little cramped and uh, it was hard. But uh, in the end, we just took our time and uh, made it work. And that was good. It looks like we're actually riveting it here. So maybe I didn't know. Oh, that's maybe why I was so fast. We didn't rivet it. I didn't rivet it with the squeezer. Maybe I couldn't get the angle. 
So there's a tail wheel skin. It's uh, it's quite thick. It's uh, thicker than all the other skins. It's because yeah, probably the tail wheel is in there, so it, the construction needs more strength. So you can see it, but it was it is really a very rigid piece of skin. It's probably twice the thickness that normal skin has. And as you can see, um, there is no hole in there. So the, the tail wheel construction, which I have in my hand right there, should go in there, which means we have to trim a lot of material away. So there is a um, map, a kind of a Uh, I first tried the scissors, the, the shears to, to cut it out. It actually worked quite good, but of course it's not nice enough. So then we had to file and drill and we, we tried all kinds of things trying to prevent that we would cut too much. So the last part we do with uh, a file. And my dad is really happy <laughs> with files. <laughs> and since I hate it, I let him do that work because he's really good at it. Uh, I'm actually working on the construction of the tail wheel. So there need to be some holes drilled in there to connect them to the 711 bulkhead, two holes. And later on there should be three holes with the 712 bulkhead. But that will be done in conjunction with the vertical stabilizer. So here we're trying to um, fit the rod of the tail wheel in there. I tried to use some bands, some spanner bands to um, yeah, keep the material closer because the Clicos couldn't do it. There, at least now the WD409, which is the number for the tail wheel, is now connected to the bulkhead. Once you've done it, probably the second time it goes much faster because you know what you're doing. But the first time it's, although you have the, the plans and you have the drawings, it's, it's not that easy. It's, uh, it's kind of experimenting. Afraid of making mistakes, of course, because every mistake here is uh, well, lethal, you could say. Or at least will cost you money and time. So there is a hole, what they call a mouse hole, according to the traps in, in the plants. But it's not big enough in the uh, 712 bulkhead. You have to enlarge the hole. We're already getting closer, as you can see the 7-Eleven is in there, together with the tail wheel. And also you can actually remove the tail wheel part, which we do later, which is most, much faster. So, yeah, you have to remove it immediately because it, the whole tail wheel part is just too much hassle. Again, filing, filing, filing. Luckily, my dad is very handy in that, so... Uh... Okay. More filing. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Of course, you can just, you know, drill the whole thing out, but then you would probably remove too much material, and I'm trying to limit or minimize, you could say, the amount of my, uh, amount of skin we remove to prevent that there are complete holes in there. Maybe I'm too precise in these things. I'm not sure. Doesn't say in the plans, but uh, yeah, it's my first time, so I'm probably a little overcautious.
And still no rivet in there, right? It's just trying to measure everything and fit everything together. But we're getting there. It looks like a struggle and it... yeah, it was. Couldn't get all the clicos in there. And then finally... We had everything in there. Which was really nice. And then we stopped for the day. Because it was a victory. My dad was a little disappointed because yeah, he thought we didn't do much. But actually I was very glad that we had this part, this part ready. Because I knew it was one of the main parts of the, um, the aft fuselage. Right. That was it. Next time, continuing building my pie in the sky.